Hey guys, welcome back to Sons of Oklahoma. Today I thought I'd come out and do our 22 penetration test. Now common YouTube knowledge, take that for what it's worth, is that if a bullet will pierce a half inch pine board, it's considered lethal. So what I have here today, I believe equals out to about three quarters worth of plywood. And we're gonna see just how lethal 22 long rifle, short and magnum can be fired from different barrel lengths. We got all the 22s out today and uh, I think we're gonna start out with each one of them with this little guy, the 22 short. Stick around. All right, as you can tell, I've been in the process of modifying my bar key. I've added a new taller sight to provide myself with more accuracy. We're gonna start off with it and it's two inch barrel loaded up with the 22 short. There we can see the impact of our 22 short. I don't believe that made it through. Nope, didn't even bulge the other side. All right, let's step it up in barrel length and see if that makes any difference. Hey okay, guys, moving up in barrel length to our, I believe this measured out to be at exactly four inches. Let's take a shot with it. All right, let's take a look. As you can tell, obviously, from the longer barrel, we had even poorer performance out of our 22 short. All right, let's go ahead and step it up to the 6 inch. All right, we're going to step it on up now to the Heritage Rough Rider 6 inch with the 22 short. All right, let's take a look. As you can tell, it did a little bit better than our four inch, but our two inch is still holding the maximum penetration. But none of these rounds so far, the 22 short, have even started to penetrate this board. All right, let's step it up to the rifle. Okay, guys, we've decided to move it up to our 22 inch. This is our uh, Savage model, uh, 6A, running our 22 short inside of it. Let's see if we get any better penetration out of it. Let's take a look. As you can see, our rifle round hit down here. It went in pretty deep. And it started to come out the back. It's a slight bit of improvement. Okay, let's step it up for 22 LR. Okay, now we're gonna step it up to the 22 LR. In the interest of fairness, I've loaded both a full metal jacket and a hollow point in. The first round will be our Yagila full metal jacket. Second round will be our Winchester hollow point, and that's the way it's going to proceed throughout the rest of our test of 22 LR. All right, first up, our Aguila out of our two inch. All right, let's take a look. As we can see, our Aguila went into our first board, penetrated our first board into our second and straight on out the back out of our two inch do three quarter inch of plywood okay let's try our hollow point and see if it makes any difference next up our winchester hollow point out of the two inch unfortunately it looks like we hit in the same exact spot yeah, we did. All right, we'll have to back up and try that again. All right, our Winchester hollow point take two out of the two inch. All right, let's take a look. You see our hollow point entrance. Obviously it exited, went into our second and cleaned through. Let's go ahead and just skip it on up to uh, 22 Magnum. All right, in the interest of fairness, Gunslinger is right on this matter. Since we've seen difference out of the pistol so far, we're gonna go ahead and continue with our 22 LR. Like I said before, 
First our full metal jacket, then our hollow point. This was the second size. All right, that was our full metal jacket. We'll try our hollow point now. All right, let's take a look. This hole here is our full metal jacket, and this hole here is our hollow point. Both rounds penetrated the first side of the board. And I believe both rounds have exited. All right, let's step it up to the six inch, and then our rifle. All right, our six inch full metal jacket. Our six inch hollow point. This is our full metal jacket. This is our hollow point, both from our six inch. It looks like both rounds penetrated, I believe. Yep, here and here. All right, let's step it up to the rifle. All right, guys, moving on to the rifle. First up, our full metal jacket. And now we'll try our hollow point. Let's take a look. Your full metal, your hollow point. And it'd be expected both pass straight through. Alright, now here's the interesting part of the video. Since we don't have 22 Magnum for the rifle, we'll just have to do it out of the handgun. But I noticed in some tests before that there has been a big variation in 22 Magnum coming out of each one of these guns. Now that I've got the new Magnum cylinder ordered for the, I guess what you'd call the barkeep, and it actually works, we can shoot Magnum out of it now. So let's move on to the 22 Magnum penetration test. Okay. So in the interest of fairness, I have both the full metal jacket and hollow point 22 Magnum. First up will be our full metal, then our hollow point. And our hollow point. Let's take a look. Up top is our 22 mag full metal jacket. This is our 22 mag hollow point out of our two inch barrel. Now, looks like we have full penetration on both boards. Interesting though is these holes aren't quite as big as the exit holes on the 22 long rifles. I guess it may be because of the velocity they're moving at. All right, let's move it on up to a long, longer size barrel. All right, guys, we've moved on up to our four inch now. And as before, we'll go with the 22 Magnum bull metal and then the 22 Magnum hollow point. Our full metal, our hollow point. 22 Magnum. Just like the four out of the two inch, really moving through, but this seemed to have threw a bit of a bigger hole. That's interesting. Then again, it could just be the wood. But so far, aside from the shorts, these 22s are really showing their lethality. All right, let's move it up to our last and final revolver, the six inch. All right, guys, we've moved our Magnum up to our six inch now, and uh, Let's finish this test off. First up, our full metal. Next, our hollow point. All right, both of these hit pretty low. This is our full metal. This is our hollow point. I kind of did that on purpose because I wanted to see just how far into this backstop they may penetrate. Well, it looks like we hit our board kind of low there. And we missed my target. All right, let's set it up and try it again. All right, here we go. We'll take two of the six inch. First up, our 22 Magnum full metal jacket. Next, our 22 Magnum hollow point. I think these may have done a little bit better. Here's our full metal jacket. Here's our hollow point. It's to be expected that both went clean through and in to our wood area. 
Let's see. We don't appear to have any penetration from the back. But that's still pretty good to go through three quarter inch plywood. I'm gonna say yeah, in my opinion, 22 can be very lethal. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Alright guys. As we've seen today, there's been some seriously inconsistent readings here in the 22 short. Out of our 2 inch, it penetrated deeper than both our 4 inch and our 6 inch. Now why is that, you may ask. Well, if you ever shoot these bullets through a chronograph, you can see that they give out a lot of different readings. This is due to the factory's powder load. Bullets can be quite inconsistent when it comes to their total overall velocity. When you read the velocity on a box of ammo, it's probably rounded up to their best estimate. It's the average velocity of their rounds. Each round that you fire out of any gun, really, from one shot to the next, even the same factory ammo or hand load can have inconsistent readings. It's not necessarily the chronograph or anything like that. It's just the inconsistencies in the powder and due to a lot of different things. But I thought that was a pretty interesting fact to go ahead and point out to y'all. And uh, we want to thank Gunslinger Graffiti again for coming out today and helping me out with the video. And uh, don't forget to check out his channel. See you next time.